ideally this is what everyone wants to find when they're out hiking and that's some kind of a reliable spring there's so much water coming out of here this seep here pure water let's have a look up here see it's just coming out of the base of the mountain there's nothing there's nothing up here right okay and uh we've got lots of really good water coming out of here you could drink this straight away it's going to be clean put a pot underneath of here whatever if you haven't got a pot put a sock here yeah, smelly sock if you're dying of thirst bandana whatever to soak up the water dig a little pool in here lots and lots of water fantastic all right let's move on Uh, for a late afternoon hike in the mountains junior bush camping tools and me and uh, better watch where I don't trip over here because uh, this is the track essentially which has turned into a creek and uh, okay it's not difficult but trip over here we've got a torch too because we'll probably come out in the night time been on this track many times it's really really nice as you can see so there's a little bit of snow left not much. Obviously, it still gets pretty cool here in the nighttime. It's been pretty hot today. It's pretty hot now, but still, there's snow here. So, obviously, you know, be aware in the mountains, hiking in the mountains. Let's keep moving. So, uh, here's a laugh. We just came across a couple of other hikers with a couple of shopping bags, was full of green stuff, and I wanted to know what they were picking. And it was uh, garlic chives. Anyway, <laughs> fooled by technology is. Junior Bush Camping Tools just said because I saw something green that resembled the same color up here on this damn slope like way over there you know and uh, from coming up from down there <laughs> and the funny thing was it was you know fooled by technology it was a pet bottle a green bit of crap out here whoops sorry for swearing a green bit of rubbish out here anyway yeah uh, great anyway let's get back down to the track As I said before, you know, I decided to take this out today. It's uh, it's good enough for this. This is a bit of a touristy track, although there's nobody around on here now. It's like 6.30, and it's not really super wilderness, so um, believe it or not. Uh, it sort of is, but, you know, don't need to carry a big chopper with us today. This is good enough. So, pole force, little knife, and I've got a fold extra a folder there. For, you know left the house in a bit of a hurry so I had to make a walking pole out of a stick anyway let's move on we won't be going back empty-handed because we found some garlic chives they're just coming out up here uh, got to be careful we don't pick some lilies because they're poisonous oh I see a lot of them coming out over there so we'll go get them all right right okay I just want to show you you've got to be careful picking these you know garlic chives because this thing looks like it but it's not right you see that there this arrangement this is one though Okay, and this is one. Mm hmm. Yep. Not to be getting confused, this is one down here too. Mm hmm. Some of these you can just, you know, almost pinch off. But uh, yeah, it's really important. That's one there, it's a bit manky though. But that is not one. Okay, not, you see this? Don't get confused, you'll poison yourself. Let's move on. Allium species. 
All right. Mm, smells great. All right. Anything else to remember when you're picking uh, these wild mountain vegetables and garlic chives? These are not garlic chives. They look a bit like them, maybe, to the um, unawares. These are a lily. You know, these are kind of a lily. These are poisonous, these things. So if you pick those or accidentally put them in the bag with your garlic chives, you're going to get a bit of a gut ache, I would say. Maybe even poison yourself. So the leaves are... Yeah, that's one there, right? Okay. And some over here. It's not many. But we'll get them. Mm -hmm. and I see a lot coming out over here. Mountain vegetables. There you go. Get some more of them. Didn't survive. Say that's an old beer skull. 